Good morning booktube, my name's Nadine, welcome to my channel. I'm going to try, try and do my May wrap up. The gods do not want me to do this. I've been trying to film this for two weeks and every time I try something goes wrong and this is in fact my third attempt today. So if it doesn't happen this time, you're not getting one because I'm about to have a breakdown. So anyway, <laughs> here we go. May wrap up, let's do it again. <laughs> right. First of all, I would like to show you um, my new thing. So I, have a, I have a new thing. Harper's starting now. Oh my gosh. Harper, come here. You can sit on my knee. Um, so it's my birthday in a few weeks, and I normally ask people to get me um, books or DVDs or things, but nobody ever does because I think they're scared that they'll get me something I've already got or read or watched or don't like. So yeah, I, I generally don't get bought things like that. I get bought clothes that I don't like instead. Sounds really ungrateful, doesn't it? I'm not ungrateful, I'm not grateful. Um, so I asked for this book cart because I'm going back to uni in September. Hang on, let me just get my dog, Harper. Harper, come here, sweetheart. What did I tell you? Literally every time I start filming, something happens. Um, so yeah, anyway, so I've asked for this book cart because I don't want to try and shoehorn a desk into uh, my dining room, which is really the only space that I could have it um, because that's already the dining room, the playroom, it's got all my bookcases, well, my, my, most of my bookcases, the main ones. So I really don't want it to be a study as well. So I thought if I get that I can use it for, you know, my laptop can go in there and textbooks and all that kind of stuff. And then it's got these things to put um, pens and whatnot in. And then it's got hooks to put like hooky type things. I don't know. I don't know what that's for really, what I would hook on there. Um, so yeah. There was that um, bookish related thing. I thought in the meantime I can use it for like my TBR books and um, wrap up some things and keep everything in one place and hopefully slightly more organised than I generally feel on a day to day basis. So um, the books that I read in May, I'll go through the ones that I don't have to hand first because they're like library um, books. Um, the first book that I read was Neil Shusterman's Thunderhead. It's the second in the Ark of the Scythe um, trilogy. And I find that world quite interesting. It's, um, it's set in a world where death has been eradicated. So people don't die natural deaths anymore. And if they, if they die by accident, um, they get taken to um, revival centres and brought back. And, you know, people still age, but once they hit a, an age that, you know, they're not happy with, they can revert back. So um, that's quite interesting, <clears throat> like the effects that that has on society, because obviously pe people still need to die. You know, the population is still increasing and there are only so many resources. So to that end, the Thunderhead, which is like a self-aware AI that uh, governs like the ecosystem, people's jobs, people's lives, just everything. Um, the, it has appointed, like there's apprenticed and appointed scythes, which are a law unto themselves. They are not governed by the Thunderhead. They are governed by their own set of values and rules and guidelines um, to ensure that they are fair and um, that they glean people with compassion and, and all that kind of thing. You know, that there's no prejudice in their gleanings. Um, but obviously with that kind of power, there's, there will inevitably be corruption and that is kind of, um, what the story follows and, um, it follows this, uh, new, uh, uh, like a new, new scythe, um, Anastasia and, um, sort of the political, things going on in the background and backstabbings and front stabbings and just general stabbings. Um, yeah, it's a really, really good book. I don't want to say too much about what it what it is actually about with it being the second in the series. And I think it's they've been talked about on BookTube a lot before when they first came out. I'm just really late to the party. 
so you probably already know all about them if you haven't read them already so there was that one and then i read um elizabeth gilbert's big magic and that was all about her experiences of um creativity you know from getting an idea to working on it and that kind of thing um and it was quite interesting also i love i love um reading about authors experiences of their craft whether they're authors that i read or not i find that i tend to enjoy these uh, you want to go down now are you sure are you sure got them no grumbling so there was those and then i um i finished Nyal saga which was for the maybury book club this was the pick for april um but i didn't quite finish it in april so i finished that off and this is set on a um, real life blood feud that happened in iceland many many years ago um, but this was written about 300 years after that but it follows the blood feud from when it begins to right to its bitter end and Njal is kind of at the centre of it in a, a guiding kind of capacity. He's very well respected in the community. Everybody goes to him for advice, like legal advice or just what to do with anything. Because he's so smart, he's kind of prophetic with it. Um, so yeah, it was really interesting. It's interesting to see... Um, a glimpse into how life was governed back then um it was very violent which was fun um the violence was often quite funny and then um i found myself skimming over you know the whole family tree stuff because it would there would be a lot of oh and this is so and so who's related to so and so who was related to so and so and so and so and they once had a goat called dave I'm just going to get Harper again. Um, so, yeah, that was interesting. That was good. Oh, he's, he's laying down. Uh, I, I know you've all met Harper before, probably, but if you haven't, he is fine. Um, he's just extremely, extremely, extremely old, almost as old as this, I would say now. And... Um, Sometimes he gets a little bit confused and just needs a little bit extra TLC, which is obviously it's one of those days today. Um, so again, for the Maybury Book Club, I um, read Batman, The Dark Knight Returns. Um, so first of all, I do have to say, because it was the first thing that struck me when I started this, was I don't like the art style on this. I don't like all these this like compressed text box 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 I just don't I didn't like it I didn't get on with it it made me feel like I had a headache um and I found it quite difficult to yeah I just found it difficult to get on with difficult to read but having said that I quite enjoyed the story um Batman has been retired for some time um when we meet him in this and he is a very old 50. I mean, he is more, it's more like he was in his 80s in this. Um, but then again, I suppose he's had quite a hard life. He's put his body through some stuff, hasn't he, that man? Um, but the streets of Gotham have gotten hyper-violent. And there are lots of gangs roaming around. And Batman is having a massive mental break in this and um he he decides to you know put on the cape again and and go and sort things out um yeah it was really really interesting much much darker than i was expecting it to be um i have very difficult feelings towards batman in this um it was I found it difficult to root for him because there was really no good guys in this, I felt. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. I just don't know if I would continue to read them. 
Um, and then I um, I need to talk quicker because oh, my phone's going to switch off again, I think. Um, book five and six of The Walking Dead. I love these. I love the series. So I make no secret of that. I love these because they are different to the series as well. Like uh, main characters in the series uh, just don't appear in these at all. I've hit the point now where they have gone to Alexandria and they're settling there. I loved them. I need to pick up the next ones. I then finished The Subtle Knife by Philip Pullman, which is the second in the His Dark Materials trilogy. This has taken me a year and a half to finish. Um, I did enjoy it overall. I just found that the first hundred pages or so, there was nothing in it that made me really want to reach for it. Um, I do love um, Northern Lights. I've read that a few times, in fact. So I was surprised that this didn't grab me as much. Um, but yeah. Uh, I finally finished it. Um, in this, Lyra finds herself in a strange city and um, she meets Will, um, a boy who is on the run and looking for his father that he hasn't seen since he was a baby. And um, there are different factions that are hunting for the subtle knife, which is a very powerful tool. And so um, Will and Lyra must find it and, and get it in their possession first. As I said, the first 100 pages or so was a bit hit and miss for me, but after that I, I loved it and I have got the next book on my shelf and I'll get to that in the next month or two. Oh, you are kidding, is my phone ringing now? Ah, oh. okay. I will call it a day for now, guys. Thank you and goodbye.